Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Sprott Shaw College Pharmacy Assistant Program webinar. I want to start off by thanking all of you for taking the time to be here with us tonight. My name is Brittany McLennan, and I am the campus director at the East Vancouver Sprott Shaw College location. Today, we will be speaking about the program, um, the Pharmacy Assistant Program, in relation to industry demands, our program skill set offerings, our graduation successes and outcomes. We will also be speaking to one of our current student students to hear about her experience in the program, as well as from one of our successful grads that recently uh, just graduated and is now working in the industry. For those of you who are not familiar with Sprottshaw College, we are the oldest private training institution in BC. We were established in 1903, and we have a rich history in education through a wide range of programs and industries. All of us here at Sprottshaw are dedicated to serving our communities and our students through creating programs that meet the demands not only of the employers, but also reflects the change um, of the industries. Um, uh, as they progress uh, throughout time. Uh, we're also here to support our students through the changes in technology as well as different learning avenues uh, as, as our current environment changes. To start off this webinar, I would like to speak a little bit about the pharmacy program and how it's reflected in the labor market outlook. As you will see, uh, there there's a steady increase in growth in the BC labor market as projected from now until 2029. It, it has a year-over-year -year growth. Um, even in the midst of pandemic events, uh, the healthcare industry has been in the spotlight and is projecting growth in almost every aspect uh, of the healthcare industry. Looking at the employers that, from this slide here, you will see Shoppers Drug Mart, PharmaSave, Walmart. All of these are major brands or major uh, organizations that have pharmacies. And you'll find later on that some of our students are actually working in some of these major companies. Students can be hired at any major partners in the pharmacy industry that are both, like I said, big brand, but also in smaller private uh, locations as well. Further to that, looking at the industry outlook, um, some of the skill sets that really affect how successful a pharmacy student is in their employment are, are things that we teach within our program. So you will see here that billing, packaging, prescription administration, retail pharmacy, all of those skill sets are things that will be taught in our program. So we're very proud in the fact that our program with Pharmacy Assistant really reflects the um, needs and demands that are within the industry. So we're making sure that when our students are graduating, they're gonna hit the ground running and they will have the applicable skills to make them successful in the industry. Everything that is listed there will be taught during pharmacy and extensively through their lab practice as well. Again, looking at the key skills and skill sets required for employers, uh, sorry, employees to be successful in the industry, we ensure that our program trains them, uh, trains them as our students to be as most current and relevant as possible um, and ready to hit the industry at when they graduate. Some of the career paths that are in the pharmacy industry um, are things such as the pharmacy assistant, which we will be talking about this evening. There's also pharmacy technician positions as well as the pharmacist position as well. In the industry, when they're working in a pharmacy, all of these roles will be working together um, seamlessly. So a pharmacy assistant will be working with a technician and a technician will also be working with a pharmacist. At any point in time, a pharmacy assistant will be working under the guidance of either a coordinator or a pharmacist within uh, a pharmacy location. What you will find though, is the number of pharmacy assistants that are required within a pharmacy is much greater than perhaps a pharmacist. You might only have one or two pharmacists on site, but you will have multiple pharmacy assistants helping through the day-to-day -day, uh, operations um, and the needs that are required within the pharmacy. 
Uh, pharma the pharmacy program is a high opportunity occupation. So what you will find is that they will be helping pharmacy, sorry, pharmacists um, in compounding and packaging. They will also work on labeling prescriptions. So what that means is when you when you receive a prescription or a bottle um, from a pharmacy and it has the label on it with your name, um, your uh, the the type of drug that is on there in any kind of um, uh, any kind of description, those are the labels that a pharmacy assistant will be putting on and, and taking care of. Some of the other things that they'll be doing um, that are routine tasks, if you want to call it that, are preparing the prescription medication, and that includes counting the tablets. So if 20 tablets need to go into a pill bottle, they will count those accurately and they will, they will um, add them to the to the containers labeling as i had mentioned and also something called blister packing as well blister packing is is where um, certain medications that need to be taken in either the morning the afternoon or evening can all be stored in a package um, so that if somebody needs to take a certain uh, medication in the morning and a different one in the afternoon it can be all in one package um, that the the pharmacy assistant will actually put together so that later they can break that package open up what they need in the morning and they can put it away and then the next pill that they need to take in the afternoon is also there as well so the pharmacy assistants are very needed in a pharmacy, not only um, in individual places such as the big box like uh, Pharmacy or Shoppers Drug Mart, but also in private locations as well as hospitals. Continuing with job duties, uh, they can work in, as I mentioned, hospitals, communities, stores, as well as small and large uh, private pharmacies. So there's lots of opportunities for pharmacy assistants uh, to be working out in the industry once they've graduated. So again, as I had mentioned, they, they can gather the information from patients. They will also access prescriptions and ensure that it's complete. They will prepare those prescriptions. There's also some compounding and production of some products that they can do as well. All of these skills are learned within this program. Within this program, they also get to spend some time in the lab as well too, practicing the actual hands-on skills of the things that they're gonna be learning in class and in theory. So moving on to the actual program at Sprottshaw College. So here we offer the pharmacy assistant program and it's actually broken into two segments. So the students will have 17 weeks of general academic courses. So they will take courses um, that are going to work with their critical skills in communication, writing, customer service, which is very important with regards to working in a pharmacy, because part of that is also having good cu customer service to your clients that are coming in to pick up their prescriptions. You'll also be working on bookkeeping and accounting. In some cases um, at some pharmacies, this the pharmacy assistant will also be running the tills or in some cases in the actual accounting of a smaller, a smaller um, uh, pharmacy location. The other half of the program is where the students really learn all the core concepts with regards to pharmacy. So they will spend 16 weeks or approximately 320 hours dedicated to everything they need to know about pharmacy and to be a pharmacy assistant. So they will learn about things such as pharmacy tech. Uh, terminology. So within the terminology, they're going to learn about anatomy and physiology, the body systems, and the associated um, conditions with the body, uh, body systems. Some of the other courses that they're going to be working at that they will take is introduction to pharmacy. So in the introduction to pharmacy, that's when they start working their their pharmaceutical calculations and, and learning dosages and how all that can be different depending on the type of drugs that they're going to be counting or putting into uh, their containers or, or uh, pill cases. Uh, a couple of other courses are principles of pharmacology. So again, they're going to learn all the different classifications of the drugs that they would be handling or working with while they become a pharmacy assistant such as knowing the differences between a brand or a generic and, and being able to recognize that some drugs will have a generic label, but it's very equivalent to a brand. So there's lots of terminology that they're gonna be learning in that class as well too. 
which makes it really exciting. Uh, there's also aseptic techniques, which is something that they're going to end up practicing in their, in their lab practice as well. Retail applications, which involves billing, merchandising, counting inventory, um, and then obviously there's the pharmacy lab. So within the pharmacy lab here at the East Vancouver location, we've actually set up an area that is to mimic an actual pharmacy lab when they get into the industry. So we have shelvings that have all the different types of drugs organized by alphabetical. We have stations where they'll learn how to count the proper amount of pills to go into a certain container, then they will also practice labeling them. They will input the information from the patient. They will learn to print those labels and actually put them on the pill bottle. Uh, there's actually a very specific technique on how to do that. And they spend lots of time learning how to label their, their uh, bottles so that when they do get into their practicum or into the workforce, that they don't need to be taught on site. And we've actually had a few practicum sites saying how impressed they were with our students on the ability that they could just pick up and run once they actually got there. Some of the career opportunities that are available to pharmacy assistants, I've briefly mentioned them before, is a clinical pharmacy assistant, retail pharmacy assistant, healthcare consultant, as well as a diabetic meter assistant. Recently, we've actually had a few students who have graduated. Right now, since within the last about six months, uh, six to eight months, 83% of our students are working within a pharmacy assistant role within one month of graduating, if not being hired right out of practicum. Normally, we're looking to try and get someone hired within six months, but the last little while, as I had mentioned, the opportunities in the healthcare industry are actually quite high. So they are being picked up um, quite quickly after their practicum. So it's very nice to see. Some of the places that our students are being, um, are, that, are, that have been hired are some independent pharmacies such as the Guardian Kent Pharmacy, a natural pharmacy, as well as the Young Medical Clinic and Pharmacy. Some of the other places, we've had multiple students be hired by Shoppers Drug Mart in various different locations, Safeway Pharmacy, as well as Costco as well too. So as I mentioned, it's a very large blend as to where they can be hired with regards to their pharmacy assistant. At this point, we will now see a little bit of a video message, message from, from one of our, our most, most recent, recent grads, grads uh, and, uh, her, and experience her experience as a as pharmacy, pharmacy assistant. assistant. Hi, I'm Luisa. I graduated pharmacy assistant with a practicum program at East Vancouver, and this is my workplace. After I finished my all the courses in East Vancouver, I took my practicum in Chiriwak Shopper Drug Mart Pharmacy, and after my practicum, I got hired. I'm going to give you guys a little tour of my pharmacy. Our pharmacy is the busiest pharmacy around this area, so we're usually working with six pharmacy assistants and three pharmacists in a weekday, and we get thousands of prescriptions every day. The first section of the pharmacy is called drop-off. We begin with ask customers how can we help with today. Most customers are for prescription medication, so we take their prescription from the doctor. The next step will be verify their information and the most common question will be asked is it birthday, have you been to this pharmacy, and do you have a piece of ID with you. After a patient has been verified, we process the prescription and the next process of the pharmacy will be filling station. At the filling station, the right prescription with the right drugs, which is usually identified by the number. At the filling station, the correct prescription with the right drug, which is usually identified by the D number, is used. The right drug and the right prescription are scanned into the system, and the number of pills are counted. After you count the right amount of the pills, you transfer to the right size of the bio, and the bio is labeled with the correct patient information and finally passed to the pharmacist. So the pharmacist goes through and makes sure that everything is correctly dispended and there is no error. When the prescription is ready for the final stage, it's called the pickup. The patient comes in to pick up the prescription. We identify the patient with last name, first name, and the address. And if there is a charge, the patient has to pay for it. And if it's a new medication, the patient has to be consulted by the pharmacist. And this is the end of the whole process of our prescription from the drop-off to the pickup. Next section will be how Shopper Drug Mart Pharmacy hired me. 
Okay. Hi, my name is Michael. I'm the pharmacy manager at Shopper's Drug Mart in Southgate, Southgate Plaza. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with Risa Oga, Fresh Out College, sorry. Um, yeah, I've had the pleasure of working with her. She's been a, a great addition to the team here. Um, she's had her rotations as a student here, and, and we loved her so much that we actually hired her on board in our staff. And she's learned a lot here as she's come a long way. Uh, we love her, her work ethic and attitude. Uh, I think those are the most positive things about her. Um, no matter how crazy or busy it gets, she's always she always pushes through and, and, and um, manages stress very well. So uh, we've loved Risa here so far. I'm not sure what her plans are going for, but we love to have her in our team. Overall, I'm glad I took a pharmacy assistant with the practical program at Sprachshaw College. Now we will hear from one of our current students, Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Can you hear us? Uh, yes. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for being with us today. Um, if you can just kind of start off just to tell us a little bit about yourself, um, that would be great. Okay, thank you, Brittany, for having me today. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Fiona. Uh, I'm from China. I've been in Canada for uh, four years right now. Um, I currently uh, study in the pharmacy assistant program with practicum, um, and I'm very happy that I choose this program. That's awesome. It's been a pleasure to have you here at the East Vancouver campus. Um, so, as you had mentioned, you're currently in the pharmacy program. So, tell me, how did you like your pharmacy classes so far? I really enjoyed my pharmacy program because um, I just feel like all the courses are very like, reasonable and the professors are very knowledgeable and all the classes are like have high quality so far and my classmates they are wonderful and awesome so overall um, my experience in the pharmacy class are really really great if you could name one thing that was your favorite part what would that be so far my favorite part would be like class discussion um, because that is the moment I feel like I'm really like learning something from not just from the professor, but also from my classmates. And because everyone have like a different background here. So when we share information, you can just learn something that is like out of the course, but it is also important to the course. Yeah, some of the class discussions could get pretty good. I know I had I had walked in a couple times and you guys had some pretty interesting discussions about uh, the pharmacy topics. So, um, so kind of switching gears a little bit, what did you find that that was the most challenging about the program? And then how did you overcome that challenge? Well, okay. Personally, um, the most challenging part is actually the language because I'm an international student. So I'm actually um, uh, scared that I cannot understand uh, what is the professor talking about or what is on the book. But um, actually, I feel like the course is quite friendly to people like me. Like I have no medical background or biological background here. Um, so like, I remember the first course I took was the medical terminology, which is very challenging uh, for a uh, freshman like me, mm -hmm. but um, I just put myself in, in the study and I just put my, put all the time and all the effort in it. So um, as long as like I just focus on what I'm studying, I feel like, yeah, it's, it's not a big deal. Just, it's just a matter of time, I think. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, it's, it's just a case of kind of going back and learning how to study some of those new terms. In, in your defense as well too, medical yeah. terminology, a lot of um, 
Latin-based words that is probably not very familiar to, to most people. So, um, yeah. it, uh, yes, that, that course can be a bit of a challenge, but I'm glad to hear that you did, and you did very well in it. So, um, congratulations to that. But absolutely, with proper like study techniques, it's, it's nothing that, no one, uh, that anyone can't overcome. Um, kind of talking a little bit more about the practical side of things, how did you enjoy or what did you like about the lab piece? Um, and kind of getting to, to actually do some hands-on training with some of the things that you learned about in class. Uh, the lab is actually the most practical course uh, in the whole program. And this, this course is actually where I feel like I learned uh, the most from. So basically the lab is where you will learn how to deal with your job in a real pharmacy. Like you will get familiar with all the equipment and tools and medications in the real pharmacy. Uh, and then you'll be required to like prepare the doctor's water. And this includes skills like uh, compounding, uh, making like creams and ointments and packing the medications, also counting and labeling, um, and also, uh, what is that? A list of packing, like blister of packing, that is the most important thing. <laughs> um, and also you'll get to familiar with the uh, PharmaNet system where you have all the informations and records of your patients. Yeah, absolutely. You guys learn a lot in that in the pharmacy lab component. Um, I believe your class made uh, a hand cream when you guys were there, and I believe the last class that just went through, when everyone was in shortage of hand sanitizer, they actually made hand sanitizer as well too. So mm -hmm. our our instructor tries to make some really fun, relevant things to do while you guys are in in lab. Um, yeah. Finally, one of my last questions for you is. Why did you choose Sprout Shaw and why did you choose the pharmacy program? So, okay, why did I choose uh, Sprout Shaw is uh, before I came to the Sprout Shaw College, I just heard a lot of good things about the school. Like people just told me that Sprout Shaw have like a great learning atmosphere all the teachers and the staff, the instructors and students, they are very nice and kind. And uh, classes are small so that you can actually feel like you are engaged in and involved in the class. Like you're really learning something like, like instead of like uh, in a big classroom and uh, listening to nobody, um, <laughs> right? And uh, because of the class, classes are small, I feel like the communications between you and the professor uh, are much easier. So that once you have questions, you can actually have your question like solved in a short time. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Friona, for taking the time to join us tonight. Um, I, I can't say thank you enough. I know you're a busy student with everything going on, but um, yes, from all of us here at Sprashaw, thank you for taking the time out and, and having a little bit, a, a quick chat with us about the pharmacy program. So thank you. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you. At this point, I'm gonna open it up to any questions from any of you, if you have any questions about the pharmacy program or if there's something that you'd like me to go back over. I see that we have one already. Um, so if anyone else has any other questions, please do just uh, type them in the chat box there and I will answer them for you. Um, one of the questions is, is if a student is from a business background, can he take only the medical part of the program? It, it really depends on where they've taken a program uh, with regards to their business. What we do recommend is you bring your transcript in and we can have it evaluated by either the campus director or the, or the curriculum director. And if there are some uh, courses that we can give prior learning assessments to, we will, um, but it does need to match the business fundamentals piece that is also involved in the pharmacy um, uh, portion of the, of the course. And the reason is, is that 
the the 16 weeks that you're going to be taking of the business is just as important as the 16 weeks of the pharmacy as well. So we want to make sure that you end up as a well-rounded um, student before you go into the workforce. So we can certainly evaluate some transcripts um, if that's that's of, of something that you'd be looking at. How long is the practicum? Okay, so the practicum, it is four weeks. Um, so the program does come either with or without a practicum. We do always encourage students to take a practicum. Um, as we had heard from Riza in her uh, video that she sent us, uh, she got hired out of her practicum and we're starting to hear that more and more and more from our students. It's an opportunity for the employer to see what a student can do and do some onboarding and training as they are still a student and still learning. But it's their opportunity is, is kind of a four week interview that if they really like what they see, they're gonna, uh, they're gonna try and hire them as well too. We generally encourage our students that if you can get a really good recommendation letter from their practicum, it's just gonna make it easier for them to get hired somewhere else. If they can get hired out of a practicum, fantastic. Um, but if they can get a really good evaluation or a good reference letter, that's just gonna make it that much easier for their next job opportunity. So it is four weeks long. Uh, another question that I see there is when is the next start date? So the nice thing about the private school industry here at Sproutshaw College is we have continuous intakes. So with regards to the, uh, the pharmacy program, we have monthly starts and monthly intakes. So it's just a case of contacting a local advisor um, and just seeing when the next start date is, is within the next month for them to start. Um, and and uh, yeah, so pretty much every month. That's a good question. Thank you. Uh, with, I see as though that um, we also have another question about the English requirements. So um, if you are an international student, it's something that you want to work with the international department. Um, but for the um, uh, English requirement, there is going to be uh, an IELTS score that is going to be required. And again, that's something you can talk over with your advisor um, to go through all of that as um, uh, in more detail. Yeah. Uh, do I need to take any prerequisite courses? No, you do not need to take any prerequisite courses. So different from courses such as uh, uh, nursing, uh, practical nursing. Pharmacy does not have any prerequisites um, with regards to going into the program. Uh, there might be some with regards to, as I had mentioned, IELTS or TOEFL, and there, there also may be an entrance assessment that you need to do as well. But for the most part, um, there isn't any prior learning that you need to do. Uh, do students have to find their practicum places by themselves? No, not necessarily. Um, we do have an employment services specialist here, as well as our instructor who will help the students in guiding them into a practicum. So if a student has a location that they're interested in that they would like to try and get a practicum at, we do encourage them to make that network. Um, just as we had seen in the video, uh, she wanted to have a practicum in Chilliwack as it was closer to her home. Um, so we worked with the, the student and she had made an, an initial contact at the pharmacy and, and it ended up working out well. But no, the student does not need to find their own practicum. We will be working with the student to, to ensure that they're placed in a proper practicum where they will get all the training that they need and they're also going to be practicing the skills that they would have learned in class. Uh, which of the campuses offer this course? So currently right now, um, because some of the courses are actually running remote um, with some of the courses, you can start the business fundamentals in pretty much any campus. Um, we do recommend that once you start getting into the pharmacy specific courses, the, the core classes as we call it, that they do um, attend the East Van campus as the lab is here. We have also had some students attend in Abbotsford as well too. Um, for the lower mainland though, we do host it out of the East Vancouver location. Um, at what age can we take this course? Well, basically um, any age over um, essentially high school, so 18, 19, and, and basically as, as, as 
old, as old as you would like to be to start and go back to school, we would be happy to take on students. So there is um, grade 12 or mature student status that we do look for, but um, there is no age cap if that's what you're looking for as well too. Yeah. Is this program popular among the local students as well? Absolutely. Um, as I mentioned, all of the healthcare programs are in such high demand from an occupation perspective. And then from a student perspective, we continuously have um, both local students and international students joining this program. So the demand is just as exciting and, and intriguing to, to both local and international students. Okay. Uh, just looking at some of the other questions. Uh, does this course provide graduates with a certificate in pharmacy technician license? No, it does not. The pharmacy technician uh, is a little bit of a different uh, program. Um, it does involve a little bit of a longer program. And then in some cases, there is also a licensing exam that goes along with the technicians. Here at Sprotshaw, we do offer the pharmacy assistant program. Um, and the reason being for that is we, we do keep a very close eye on the demand of the employment opportunities. And we find that the pharmacy assistant uh, opportunity for, for occupation is quite high. Um, any issues to place students because uh, of COVID-19? Uh, that's a really good question. Uh, COVID-19 has thrown a few people some curveballs this year. Um, it, but as for actual placements, um, it's made it a bit more challenging, um, but more so on working with the students of whether or not they want to go on a practicum. Um, if a student wants a practicum, we have been able to find practicums for students that are wanting to go out um, uh, during COVID. Obviously keeping their safety first and foremost, um, we do keep an eye on that for practicum placements. If there was obviously an outbreak or anything like that, we would pull the, the student back. Um, and if we had heard anything of, of those in that nature, I should say. Um, can I continue uh, the pharmacist program in future after the pharmacy assistant program? So to become a pharmacist, that's a little bit different. It is a degree program, so you will likely have to go back to university. So looking at that pathway, you would have to probably go to the future university that you would like to be doing your pharmacy, your pharmacist program or your pharmacist uh, degree um, and see what they will take. It's usually the destination school that will be looking at whether or not they accept our transcripts. Um, I'm, I'm sure that the experience that you would get as a pharmacy assistant would be helpful. Um, but with regards to actually transitioning to a pharmacist, a pharmacist, as I mentioned, is a degree program um, and it's multi-year. It's, it's usually about a four to five year program. After studying at your college, will I be eligible to work in another province? As a pharmacy assistant, yes, you should be able to work in other provinces. Now, every province has some different um, uh, regulations around how they run their pharmacies. Um, so we can definitely look into that if that's kind of a, an end game of what you're looking at. Um, but the, the skills that you learn as a pharmacist should be transferable to any pharmacy location. Can students get job placement support from the school? Absolutely. So part of our job here is to work with students once they've graduated, um, if they've chosen to do a practicum or not, but it is um, part of our role to ensure that you are, that the student is getting a job in their career. So it, it's not, um, it's really important to us that yes, the student graduates and yes, they do well in their program, but it's also just as important that they get hired in the industry that they are looking to get into. So again, our employment services specialists at each of the campuses would work with the student in uh, looking for jobs, working on their resume, working on their um, interview skills, brushing up on some of their skills, um, just so that we can really help them land the job that they're looking for. So absolutely, we will, we will help out the students. All right. Does anyone else have any other questions? Hopefully I got them all. I saw a few of them kind of running through fairly quickly in there. So hopefully I answered any of them.
I don't see too many popping up after that. So if you guys have any other questions, um, I believe there's a contact on there. So contact the inter at international at sprotshaw.com. They've also left their phone number there for you as well, 604-689-4328. If you have any further questions, um, other than that, I just wanted to say thank you very much for having me and, and for tuning in and, and hearing about our pharmacy assistant program. And I look forward to hopefully meeting some of you in the future. So don't forget to visit us at sproutshaw.com. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you, everyone.